I actually burned down. Um, yeah, it was. It, it happened. All year long. I'm just a regular, everyday, normal motherfucker. Today is the day that I can finally announce to you what my full time job was. I was a police officer. Not just a normal police officer in Germany. I was working three years in a specialized operating unit in Germany. And now I have quit. I have quit my full-time job because I'm opening my very own tattoo studio and I'm a full-time influencer now as well. To begin the story, how did I start being a police officer? I started pretty random. Um, I became a police officer because a friend of mine did a test and he told me, okay, you know what, why, why don't you do this test as well? Because it would be funny if we would be working together. Unfortunately, he did fail and I didn't. I was, I was actually successful. And uh, then I started my apprenticeship two and a half years and the police, um, just a normal police officer. And while doing this apprenticeship, I figured that I didn't want to be a normal police officer. I wanted to go into something, yeah, special, a special direction. The short term is USK, so Unterstützungskommando, that's what the name is in German. I have no idea if there is an English name, but that was the unit that I went to. While you do this apprenticeship, you do have to take another test to be part of this unit and I was also successful there. Afterwards I moved to Nuremberg which is like two and a half or two three hours away from my hometown um, because I thought that would be just fine to actually be part of this unit. And at first the special training was pretty damn nice like it was um, everything I always wanted to do and it felt so good but then social media came around after like two years uh, which started at the end of December 2020 and I just felt like that was going to be it. I have no idea why. At first social media was just like there. It was there I was doing it just out of fun and I, I didn't see any point there. But then somehow it started to become bigger and grow and I've been uploading daily content on TikTok and on Instagram. And once I saw the growth, I was also I was also hooked up on designing and creating content on a single on every single day because it just felt nice to actually inspire people on a daily basis. That's why I started working a lot. I've been working for like 10 to 12 hours every single day for like one and a half years with the full-time job aside. Uh, I was also shift working, so it was really, uh, oof. So it was really a hard time, a really tough time. If you know that you have night shift or early shift and you have to get your content done, you have to get everything done. You also want to work out. You also want to have kind of a life, you know, kind of a life between that. That was really rough, especially working in this unit you don't have you don't have an actual schedule it was every day was every single day was different and it was just like one day before the other they just tell you that you have to work and you or you're also on call you know there were so many things going on that were pretty hard for me in that time but now finally i have actually quit that job lots of people in germany would say or lots of people have asked me why i would give up this security to go into that business i'm going to and to be honest it was really not an easy choice i had so many thoughts going on there was so much going on in my head of course because that's not just a decision you just take from from day by day so i figured that i would have to do something that would actually work out and i think doing the tattoo business and also content creation is the way to go it just feels right Right? And that's why I've chosen that way. It's been a lot of work. I've been working every single day, like behind the scenes, you don't really see how much work this is, the content creation and also um, being this police officer and everything together. There were so many sh things going on um, that were actually really rough. And I really had a hard time to also keep my mental together and not burn out. I was that close into it where I actually was, I actually burned down. Um, yeah. It was, it, it happened, but it's, it's okay. It's okay for how it's going right now. And I'm really feeling it. I'm really feeling okay. One thing aside, I don't want to, I, I don't want to hear any hate or anything else. Why I would quit that job. Um, especially in Germany, police has a very bad standing. And you gotta say, I really appreciate the work my colleagues do. And I'm kind of sad as well that I'm not there anymore to help out people. But I'm here to inspire people and help them in, an, in a different way, I would say. If you're just not feeling your job anymore and you're really burning out and you're feeling this, it's hard to explain, but this depression level or like downside level kicking in and you're feeling that this job will bring you to a point where you will actually be not happy in your life, I think that was the right step. Because would it make sense to be in that job for like 40 years, especially as a police officer where you have to take the right decisions if you're not happy? So I just want to point out I really appreciate the work of my colleagues, like I said before. This is really important. Like the police officer's job is really important and it's a freaking hard job. It's a really, really hard job. I've been there. I've been working with like lots of, I've been working, I, I had to do with lots of, lots of hard to work with people, um, especially like I had to do with lots of criminals and just like stupid, 
I don't want to say that, but stupid people. It is what it is, but there's so many, uh, there's actually so many, just so many unfriendly and not just, uh, unfriendly is like a low level word for this uh, people that is, it was just tough to get this hate and negativity on a daily basis. Just, you're a police officer, you're here to help and you're here, you're here to do the right thing. At least you're trying to, and you're only a human. Of course, you also make mistakes sometimes. That's, we are all human, okay? That happens. But it was really a hard business, and I think overall, the the schedule with like the, the negativity of the people you, you had to work with, like not colleagues, the people um, in front of you, and like so many things coming together were pushing me to the edge of being unhappy, I think. I think that's when all came together. That's why this decision really, really helped me a lot with getting rid of my burden. Like, holy sh I've been feeling so stress relieved. I've been feeling so much better doing my own stuff, which I, which, which doesn't feel like work for me. I sit there 12 hours a day to create content, do designs, emails, all the work, right, that has to be done. But that doesn't feel like work for me and I think that's the way to go for me. Really important, why did I not want to tell you my full-time job? First of all, I didn't want to just like pride myself with being a police officer because I would have the feeling if you do that, lots of people would put you in the niche of you being something better because you're wearing a uniform. I didn't want to focus on the, on the police job. I wanted to focus on the content creation and designs and tattoos. That's why this was my decision. That's why my decision was to not tell you because I felt like I, I didn't want to pride myself. I didn't want to, to be feeling like something better because I'm wearing a uniform and I'm in a special unit and I'm, you know, I didn't want to feel like that. My main focus was the content creation and my social media without being the police officer, I was. The second part was also the hate, sort of, um, since like I said, the police in Germany, sadly, has a negative standing, not just in, in Germany, I guess. All over the world, kinda, because of the videos you sometimes see that are pretty unfortunate. Um, or unfortunately cut because you never know what's actually going on there But people tend to rather hate before they actually know what was going on, right? Yeah, I didn't want to, to have this around my, my, my platforms when I when my main focus was social media and content creation anyway I didn't want to be influenced in my work as a police officer on the streets for example as well if I was Because some people were living in Nuremberg as well and I was working there and let's imagine I have a case and these people know me and I do something and I have to take measures or something, you know? I guess you get the kind of point here. Um, I, I just wanted to avoid all that. Overall, with these facts, I think we're good. So yeah, that was my story, kinda. Short story. Maybe I'm gonna dig deeper into this topic a bit more in my next uh, videos or future videos. But that's it for now. I just wanted to make this video. But yeah, that was the, that was the explanation why I was keeping it a secret and what was the reasons why I have chosen this way. I think everyone would have taken this route if you have the possibilities and you have the guts to actually do so. But like I said, I want to be happy. My main goal is to be happy in the long term and doing what you love is really a blessing. It is a blessing which I'm so thankful for. And now it's actually just time for my tattoo studio. I'm so looking forward to to, uh, to actually do what I love every single day and to inspire people and help them out. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a sub and also a like. I would like you to know your opinion on this video um, and on this topic overall, what you're thinking. And hopefully see you in the next videos. Now you all can also check out Instagram and the other channels if you haven't done that yet. And hopefully see you next time. Peace out.